All right, bye, babies. I gotta go to work. Yeah, I know. I'll miss you, too. Bye, Eleanor. And one quick peek. Do you remember? Uh, this is my favorite little corner. I bought some pottery recently, all by Hager, except for that McCoy piece right there, that peach number. I'll, I'll tell you about that in the future. But uh, this is one of my favorite little corners in my house. That is a pillow. Uh, this is that bust, that sculpture I bought at Goodwill not long ago. And I found like a white pedestal. Not the piece I want to be under there forever, but it definitely gets it up there. And I love it behind the chair. So I'm very happy with this little corner. But I have to go to work. I will see you soon. Good morning, guys. Hi, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Steven. It's about 11 and 15 in the morning. I have to be in the crew room at 12.05. So I have a, a moment or two to sit here and chat with you for a moment, have some of my coffee and finish off my breakfast sandwich before I head into the airport to start my work trip. This trip is basically three of the same days over and over again, uh, which is Vegas, Portland, Vegas, Portland. And that's it, wash and repeat. Um, I have, in fact, in fact, I think every day that I work through the end of the month, which is not a lot, I don't have a lot of trips this month, um, I think it's the same day every day. Originally, my schedule was very, very heavy with long Tampa layovers. I had it in my head that I was going to splurge and buy a Platinum Pass at Busch Gardens, but that's like $450, $475, something like that, and I'm like, there are better ways for me to spend that money, Goodwill. Um... <laughs> than ride roller coasters that much. So let me swap out of those trips for the same credit with shorter trips. Like I'm away from home less with the trips I have. And when looking at my schedule, it turns out it's like the same trip every day, which is fine, which is fine because it's a lot of Portland. And Portland flights are usually pretty easy, knock on wood, nice people, simple. The legs are like two hours long. So it could be worse. So I fly today where um, two legs, a, tr a turn to Vegas. I sit here for two hours and 15 minutes, and then we fly to Portland for 15 and a half hours. And that basically describes every day uh, for the rest of the month. But blah, blah, blah. Let me sip my coffee, have a bite of my sandwich, and I will see you at the airport. Surprise, 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 randomed. But we're random like 70% of the time now, so. You just have to build in the uh, amount of time you give yourself to check in for getting through security. Today was very slow. Uh, I had a number of pet carriers in front of me in the security line and I couldn't jump ahead as much as I'd like to have. Uh, and um, it just, it was a very slow security line. But I still have 20 minutes before I have to be in the crew room. Oh, I just spit. So um, yeah, I'll see you probably on the plane next. All right, so my flight time today to Portland, one hour and 54 minutes. Uh, that's probably 15, 20 minutes less than what's blocked, so that's good. Um, then we have 101 passengers on board, so that's nice. I do like a light flight once in a while, but most often, give me a full flight. I don't want one open seat. Well, maybe one open seat in case it's an emergency. You can move someone around. But when there's open seats, this many open seats, Sometimes passengers move where they shouldn't move and it's like a game of survivor sometimes. One moves and everyone, you know, everyone starts running around like it's musical chairs, but um, hey there, hi there, ho there. Hi, um, I'll, I'll talk to you guys later. Hey guys, welcome to Portland. I'm gonna try and get this all out in one go. I've tried to film this little clip like 10 times, but every time I talk, I dip the camera down and you see my lanyard with my airline name on it. You all know who I work for, but our social media policy is very particular and they don't want us saying who we work for. Um, but I keep accidentally showing the airline name. But um, what a fantastic flight this was, amazing. We had fantastic passengers on board. I know I always say this over and over again, but it's true. Most of the time our passengers are amazing. Once in a while they're not, and that's always a good story, right? But uh, yeah, fantastic passengers. With these two guys up in front in one D and F that were fantastic, charismatic, interesting, very much Portland, you know. Um, and then uh, we had a birthday girl in the exit row, uh, her 43rd birthday. We had a wonderful conversation about how wonderful your 40s are. The 40s, I think, are the best decade. The 50s so far aren't bad, but 
the 40s were great. Uh, and then in the back, we had Ava and Alder, Alder, Alder. Um, they were the most adorable couple, very much Portland, as you can imagine, Portland, creative, artsy, interesting. Uh, they were very young, but really cool, right? very together. Um, they had a pigeon with them. They had a baby, like a, a two and a half year old pigeon. It's their baby, it's their child. As Buddy is my child, Bubbles, the pigeon, Bubbles the pigeon is their baby. Uh, and um, apparently Bubbles, <laughs> Bubbles was a fledgling, I guess, that was knocked out of a nest, I think. I'm not quite sure if that's how they they found uh, Bubbles and they raised him. And um, he's he was a, a, a domestic pigeon. They came on in a pet carrier uh, and Bubbles was wearing a onesie. Can you imagine? It was a Velcro down the front. So they must have put his wings through the holes. I don't know how it goes. Um, she, uh, Ava, has a video she made about how to make a diaper for a chicken 10 years ago. So I'm gonna have to look for that video just to see. I mean, it was fascinating, but I loved Bubbles. You know I love pigeons. I love pigeons. You know how I feed pigeons, right? Um, well, Bubbles was gorgeous. But um, yeah, the high point of the day so far. But um, it is 3.36 and we're gonna be flying back to Las Vegas in a few minutes. Uh, and then we'll fly back here. And then I have about 15 and a half hours here in uh, Portland. Hey, what's going on? Weird. It was a maintenance guy standing there. Like the whole time I was talking about bubbles, he's standing there at the door looking at me like, Hey, and he's like, yeah, hi. I mean, what? It's very strange. Um, all right, let me let you go. I will see you in Vegas. Oh, uh, I wanted a photograph of Bubbles. I really, 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 really wanted a photograph with Bubbles. But again, one of our policies for safety is we can't have our cell phones on us or out when there are passengers on the plane. <laughs> so upset because I really wanted a picture. But I got an email from Ava and Alder. Um, so they're going to email me pictures of bubbles. So if I get those pictures before the end of this video, I will insert them maybe here or maybe at the end of the video, wherever I can. But um, yeah, if I can't get those pictures for this video, I'll post them when I get them because, oh my God, bubbles are so pretty. All right, I'll see you later. All right, we haven't left Portland yet, but I don't know how to say those without having a big head, right? You know, I'm like, I try to remain humble because I'm just this i'm just me but my captain came on board and he said oh would you mind if i took a selfie my um was it his uncle i think it's an uncle um he said um his uncle said to say hi if he ever sees me and to get a selfie because he apparently i may have been of some assistance in terms of inspiration or something i'm not sure for his going over to alaska and getting a job as a flight attendant in alaska and he said to his, I think, nephew, my captain, to get a selfie and say hi. And, and that was Mark, Mark from Alaska. Uh, if you're there, hi, hello, hello. And um, I was thrilled, I'm super excited. Apparently you've been flying for like a year and a half, but it was just really nice to hear that I may have been of some help to somebody in getting this job as a flight attendant. So congratulations, and uh, if you're still watching, <laughs> I don't know if you're still watching, but congratulations on your wings, and hopefully I'll see you in an airport sometime. Hey guys, hi, so we made it back to Las Vegas. Our flight from Portland here was delayed a bit. Uh, some computer issues that took probably a half hour, 35 minutes to resolve, but we were able to take off finally. It ate into our delay, I'm uh, not delay, our sit here in Las Vegas. We had a two hour plus sit originally it was reduced to 45 minutes that's fine uh, allowed me time to go to jamba juice and get a um smoothie rather than like a cheeseburger and french fries which i really wanted which is probably the same amount of calories as this but blah 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 um the flight was very very nice we did not have any bubbles the pigeons on board but we did have a really really great group of passengers um 80 something 84 passengers one of them in uh 2a was this young lady 
super, super nice, a little anxious about flying. And so I was hopefully was able to kind of give her a little peace and uh, sense of security. Um, we had a little fun chat. Really, really great. She gave me a hug on the way out. It was really, really nice. Then I got a hug from like an eight-year-old girl. <laughs> was very sweet really just really nice people in the plane tonight um michelle my position b on this flight is as light and sweet and lovely as i remember i would forgotten her first name for some reason i think her name is different on our paperwork but fantastic our chaser felix is fantastic just a nice a nice day so far we've got one leg one sec there you go so really really nice day so far this should not be a much more challenging flight getting back to Portland. We're going to get there at like 11 something or other. And um, yeah, yay. So I will see you next on the aircraft or in Portland. See you soon. I've just arrived in my hotel room here in Portland. And look at this on the TV. How cool is that? Welcome, Stephen. I love this room. That's a king size bed over there. It's huge. Got a long, massive console desk here very nice uh got a tub and a toilet over there let me scan down so you don't see the hotel name there's a nice big sink here um closet right there and if we go over here you're gonna see um a wet bar and a microwave and a fridge a very happy happy steven let me unpack my lunch bag and I will tell you about my flight in a moment. Oh, what a long day today was. Uh, we had a 12.05 report time at the airport. We didn't arrive into Portland until like 11 o'clock, something like that, a little bit later. So it wasn't the longest day ever, but it was a long day. But good, really, really nice. As you know, I talked about the first two legs were fantastic, amazing passengers. The third leg, I really don't remember much about our passengers. They were nice. I just don't remember any standouts. Um, and I'd say about halfway through the flight, I started to hit a wall. I was getting really tired. It was a long day. Uh, but um, yeah, that we wrapped the flight up nice and easy. Uh, the walk is fairly long for the shuttle here. Uh, but the shuttle showed up within five or six minutes. So no complaints there. Love the room. Great hotel. The front staff was amazing. So, yeah, no complaints. The day was very, very nice. I um, was uh, about to crawl in bed, but I realized I was so hungry. I just didn't want to go, go to bed that hungry. So I ate a chef salad that I bought at Walmart, and it was surprisingly good. It was probably meant for a family of five, but uh, it was ch chopped ham, some cheese, and some lettuce, and some dressing. It was real simple, but yummy. For five bucks, I'll be doing that again for sure. Um, but now that I've eaten that, I'm going to crawl in bed and uh, hit the sheets happily. Uh, with my goal of waking up about 7.30, 8 o'clock in the morning, maybe a little bit later, um, and then hitting breakfast downstairs, I want to hit um, the computer downstairs at the business center to add a couple lines to my schedule. Um, did I tell you about Marcy yet? I'm not sure if I talked about Marcy. One of my coworkers that I've really fallen in love with, I love her, she's so great. Um, she asked if I would shadow bib with her or buddy bib. We haven't decided yet what would be best for us. Uh, but um, I, I was really super flattered. She's pretty cool, she's awesome. She's pretty senior to me. Um, but um, she's the only person so far in almost six years that's ever asked to buddy bid or shadow bid with me. So I'm not sure what that says about me, but I'm pretty flattered because she's awesome. So uh, I want to add a couple more lines to my um, schedule, send that off to her so she can look at it. Um, and then I want to hit Goodwill. Goodwill's here in Portland and my experience have been very nice. The merchandise they put on the shelf is more like merchandise and not garbage. Like in Vegas, I find a lot of amazing things, but I really have to kind of search through a lot of trash, broken things, missing things. In Portland, they seem to be more, more conscientious about what they put on the shelf. So I'm gonna stop in a go -go real quick. Um, and then our van to the airport tomorrow afternoon is at 2.30. So we have a 3.35 showtime at the airport um and then tomorrow we just do a turn uh to vegas and back and then i think 
I don't know what we're doing on the last day, but it's going to be a nice day tomorrow. I'm going to have a good day tomorrow. Blah, blah, blah. Let me go to sleep. I'm too tired. Stop talking to me. <laughs> like it's your fault I'm not sleeping right now. I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, guys. Hi. I just woke up. So I look like I just woke up and I also sound like I just woke up. This is my morning voice. It's real low in the morning. Can you? Wow, huh? Um, yeah. Wow. Um, let me. <laughs> my voice can get really low if I try, especially in the morning. But um, I'm going to run downstairs and grab a bite to eat for breakfast. <laughs> Make myself laugh. Uh, and then I'm going to run over to Goodwill. Uh, I am wearing a new shirt. A new shirt to me. It is one of my favorite, favorite pieces of clothing. Now, I love this. It's by L.L. Bean. And it's a, a flannel shirt, as you can see. But I think this is absolutely gorgeous. It's the softest flannel shirt I've ever felt. Now, it just feels like quality. I've never had an L.L. Bean shirt and now I know why they're so popular. Uh, it's a little bit big for me, but uh, you know, it's a great layering piece. It would cost me $6 at Goodwill, of course, but it's like practically brand new. I mean, I, it, I don't know if it's ever been worn, but uh, I'm super happy with it. So much of my wardrobe these days is Goodwill, although I, I have a hard time buying pants or shorts anything like bottoms uh, from Google. I don't know why there's just this, I don't, I don't know. It's like somebody else's very, very private areas were shared, you know, and not that that's a stranger to me, that concept, but from, from a store, I don't know. Um, let me just go downstairs and eat. I'm clearly not thinking clearly. I will see you later. I forgot that the breakfast here is free, but it's not terribly impressive. The uh, eggs are not really quite recognizable as eggs. Got a couple of very strange looking sausage links, some potatoes and salsa. The fruit, you can't mess up, and a little bit of juice. Well, I was gonna walk to Goodwill because it's only one and a half miles. It would have taken me about 25 minutes, 28 minutes according to Google. But it's raining, and I really don't feel like walking for a half hour in the rain, as equipped as I am for it. So I'm gonna grab an Uber. It's gonna cost me like seven bucks. So let's do it. I did make it to Goodwill. Um, it was not a very satisfying experience. Uh, if you uh, watch Laura Caldwell, she's a very, very, very successful thrifter on YouTube. I think this is a Goodwill that she comes to unwillingly because it's like a hit or miss experience and this was definitely a miss. I did buy one thing that I'm very happy with but the whole experience was really unpleasant. Um, yeah, so I'm going to show you when I when I get back to the hotel room because my hands are cold. Uh, I'm waiting for my Uber back to the hotel so I'll see you back there. Hey guys, how are you? I'm in my hotel room nice and cozy and warm on this gray, drizzly, cold Portland day marveling at my ability to complain in the face of absolutely no adversity. I was just going to start complaining about my experience at Goodwill, and I really, I probably still will, but um, I'm also going to try and uh, have it reflect in the face of some ad real true adversity I witnessed in the parking lot today. So I got to Goodwill fairly early, stood there in the cold drizzle, you know, shielding myself from the wind and the rain. Um, and this car pulled up. It was a Saturn from, I don't know how old that car is, 20, 25 years old, if not older. And uh, a very strange noise, ka -chunk, very heavy metallic noise. Uh, the passenger door opens up and uh, I'm kind of shocked, like I'm shocked into not acting because I, I normally would act a little quicker. Uh, but uh, I was just so surprised at what I was seeing is this woman, she had no legs. They were literally off at the knee. She did not have legs. Actually, I think above her knee. Uh, she was did not have legs. They were they were amputated right above her knee. And she was a fairly large woman. Uh, she was trying to get her wheelchair out of the passenger seat. Uh, and there's like that's like a, a, a some sort of contraption to open the door and. Uh, but there's no help in getting the wheelchair out and it's coming out in pieces like the armrest and things like that. And I'm, I'm just kind of like stunned, kind of marveling at the 
I mean, uh, uh, the work really. And I, I really didn't jump into action as fast as I really wish I had. Uh, but um, me and this little old lady rushed over. When we saw her really struggling to uh, to get out of the car, we rushed over there and apparently her um, wheelchair, her, the brakes didn't work. So her getting out of the car was moving the wheelchair back and she was like, help, help, help. And so I'm trying to lift her up into the wheelchair and hold the wheelchair at the same time. And um, it was very awkward and uh and she was very grateful for the help she's like thank you so much what would i have done lying in the parking lot you know whatever it was just really <clears throat> a lot the poor thing and she went through a lot of effort getting herself out of the car i know i'm taking two minutes to tell you this whole story but all of this effort for her to get into goodwill i'm like you are a go-getter really um uh, because you know i'm like oh i have to get an uber to go to goodwill you know, I complain about everything. And then, of course, life places someone right in front of me who's like, see, you don't have any problems. But um, so I walked into Goodwill and I will complain a little bit. Uh, <laughs> there wasn't much there. There was a pair of shoes I was thinking about. There was some barware, some glasses I really, really liked a lot that I thought I could make some money on. Uh, but I didn't want to cart eight pieces of glass in my luggage home. So I left them there. The only thing I walked out with was this. Ta-da! It looks like a little um, torch or a trophy or something. Uh, you can't see in this light. I, if I think about it, I'll bring it to the window and show you um, the finish on this glaze. There's a lot of copper in this glaze, and that leaves a metallic sort of sheen uh, on the surface, which is not being captured by this desk lamp. It's actually very, very attractive. These are the markings here if anyone recognizes that a especially right there i thought it was hull pottery with h-u-l-l -L, but then i thought it was hall pottery h-a-l-l -L, but then i couldn't find it anywhere and the markings aren't exact so it was 3.99 it wasn't terribly expensive but i loved it and i think that would do really really well on my mantle um or somewhere else in the future. If I can find out more about the piece and sell it, uh, there is one very much like it, almost identical, on eBay for $36. Uh, so I could potentially sell it, but I just love this piece so much. Uh, it's very, very old. Can you see? Yeah, you can see the inside. It is very old, uh, but I just loved it. I just love the form. I would love a second one um, just to have a matching pair, but Whatever, maybe I'll find it one day in my my haunts. But when I was shopping, they the the store. This is like the second or third time I've been in that store. They never have bags. They don't have bags. I guess in Oregon, you they don't supply bags. Um, and uh, I wanted to go to another Goodwill, but I didn't want to walk around with something, even if I had the receipt in my hand the whole time. Just awkward. Um, so that's my biggest problem today. Yeah, I really shouldn't complain about anything, right? Um, but I love this piece. I am coming back tomorrow to the same hotel. So I might jump over to a different Goodwill that's also very close by, uh, just in case I find something fun. It's my little adventure. Some people go out for drinks. Some people go out to eat at restaurants in the, on their layovers. I take an Uber to Goodwill. So it's like... Probably, I'm probably spending more, less money than they are. Plus, I just got paid, so and I, I had a good paycheck. So, um, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to uh, go downstairs, add some lines to my bid sheet so I don't short bid. That's awful. Um, and then um, come upstairs, maybe take a short, short little nap before I have to get ready for work. So, I will see you either later when I'm leaving the hotel or at the airport. All right, see you later. Uh, all right, so we're back in Las Vegas. We have about an hour before we have to be back on the plane. That flight from Portland was very nice. It was one hour, 42 minutes. We had 75 passengers on board. They were all fantastic, no problems. Um, we do have a return flight in, uh, like I said, if I have to be on the plane about an hour, hello. Um, we have a full boat going, like 180 people on board. And that's great. I like a full flight. Um, and then we have, we're getting the same rooms. How sexy was that? Wiping my nose. <laughs> we're going to get the same rooms as we had when we left. Uh, and the, uh, the front desk person was like, do you want housekeeping to 
refresh your room or clean the room. I'm like, oh, no, no, don't bother. Why? I mean, it's the same sheets I slept on last night. I got plenty of towels. So why make someone clean a room when it's just me again? I felt like that just feels like, I don't know. So yeah, going back to my dirty hotel room, which is fine with me. It's probably cleaner than my bedroom right now. So I am gonna use a little boy's room and then maybe hit Wendy's for a little snackaroo. So I will see you back on the plane. Hey guys, all right, so I'm super excited. I'm at Wendy's grabbing my dinner. That's not the exciting part though. The exciting part is I received a return text from Ava and Al Alder, 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 um, this young, amazing couple that I met on my flight yesterday with Bubbles, Bubbles the Pigeon. She, um, Ava sent me a photo of uh, Bubbles while he was in his carrier on board. And then she also sent two short video clips of Bubbles out and about in nature. And it was just so acute. One of them uh, shows Bubbles in his little onesie. And I thought that was so precious. So I'm gonna attach those videos here. If you're interested, I was uh, super cute. So uh, here, enjoy Bubbles. God, look at the condition of my room. I can't believe they left it, left it this dirty. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I asked them to not clean the room. Oh, this lighting, Ugh, hold on, much better. Yeah, I was kidding. I told them not to bother cleaning the room. What does it matter if they cleaned my room? It's like the same bed I slept in last night. It's not like it's been a month in bed. Um, blah, blah, blah. I am wiped out. I have no idea why. Uh, we only had two legs. They were two hours a piece. We had a two hour sit. Not the longest day, but somehow I'm tired. Um, really, really nice flight tonight. We were completely full coming back. Um, and um, everybody I had up in the front of the plane was just a doll. We had a lot of great laughs. Uh, we had some uh, we had uh, one group in the back that had a little bit of an experience that wasn't a hundred percent, but um, it wasn't my coworkers' fault. So we did our best to take care of them, and there you go. When they left, they were smiling and laughing. So we did our jobs. Um, what else? What else? What else? Yeah, really, nothing else going on. Uh, I'm going to go to bed in a few minutes um, after having a snack. And then tomorrow morning, I might just do a rinse and repeat of today, hopefully having a better experience at Goodwill. If it's not raining, I'm going to walk this time to save the money. Uh, but um, that's my plan. That's my plan. So I will see you tomorrow. Uh, wasn't wasn't Bubbles adorable? Those little video clips. Oh, my God. I love that pigeon. All right. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, guys. Hi. So I did come down for breakfast. I didn't wake up early for it because it's not that good. I have to tell you what, like, I just show you, like, those. <laughs> those are the kind of eggs you avoid. And if you become a flood attendant, you'll know all about those eggs. Yes. All right. But instead, we're having a waffle. It's not that cold outside. It's about 41 degrees. It's supposed to be a high of 45. Um, I did not pack a winter coat, so I am layering smartly all of the shirts I have in my suitcase. Um, so the, the Goodwill I went to yesterday did not have shopping bags, as you know, and how irritated I was by that. Um, but the, the front desk person, when I asked if they had a shopping bag or anything, she goes, no, I'm sorry, we don't have anything like that. But let me look. And apparently another, another guest left a couple paper shopping bags behind. And, et voila, I was so excited. It was like irrationally excited about paper bags. But let me get on my way. I will see you there. So I'm here at the store. There's not a lot on the shelves. I pulled some things uh, to look up on, on the internet to see if it's worth actually carrying home. The one thing, the single solitary thing I really want to take with me is this vintage carving set. Look how beautiful. It's pristine. It's pristine and it's um, $4, but I can't take a carving knife on the plane. I mean, I could probably get it on, but you know, that one chance that I'm uh, caught by TSA taking a carving knife on a plane, yeah, that would, 
<gasps> not be smart. And it would be a disservice to everyone else in the industry. So I'm not taking the knife. <laughs> All right, so this is some of the things I pulled aside to look up on the internet. This is a wall pocket by Andrea Sedek. Uh, it's $3, I could probably get 12, so I'm not buying it. This is a Russian crystal candlestick holder. I think they're asking $7 for it. I could probably get 20, so I'm not buying it. This is a Mexican lacquered salad bowl, mahogany. They ask, seven dollars i could probably get 30 so i'm not buying it this a little plaque i'm buying it's 99 cents i could probably get 20 25 for that this is another plaque it's a um oh god it's a wood out of oregon myrtle wood fish uh plaque uh happy anniversary 54th oh gosh they're probably dead <laughs> but it's three dollars I could probably get uh, enough money to make it easy to ship out and sell I'm debating over this coffee mug I'm probably gonna say no to it it's four dollars this is a um, shell uh, it's a I don't know, God, what's it called I forget what those are called what are these called I know the name um, I can see it. it's all black and spiny but it is two dollars and it's pretty stable pretty solid so I'm gonna see if I can get this home just because it's novel this is a little switch plate cover, which is adorable. Made in Oregon, and it's 99 cents. So I'm gonna get that either for myself or somebody on eBay. And this is a Mikasa clock. I was thinking about buying, but it's kind of heavy. They want $8 for it, and I doubt I could make $20, $25. So I'm gonna leave this behind too. Other things I'm leaving, two Starbucks mugs some crystal things and a blue vase down there so i'm only walking away with a few pieces but it's been a little bit more satisfying uh a shopping trip so there we go back to the hotel okay going through i kind of recognize this top from an ebay search recently the glaze looks familiar it is indeed a piece of hager it's seven dollars I like it. Oh, okay. I don't like it. Big chip. Oh well. Yes, buddy, I'm home. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Hello, buddy. Hello. Look at your little belly. Look at your little belly. I love your little belly. I love your little belly. Oh, buddy, I miss you. I missed you. Yes, honey. Hey, guys, how are you? Welcome home. Oh, let me get settled in my little corner. Oh, hi. The last time I saw you, I think I was in Portland at Goodwill, and the whole day has gotten away from me. I'm so sorry. Um, it's been a beautiful day, a fantastic day. I slept like a baby last night and uh, woke up at my own leisure without an alarm. It was fantastic. Although I did miss the cats waking me up a little bit. So, but I'll get that tomorrow morning. Right, kids? Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see what the, what happened today. I got home, got back to the hotel. I walked back. The day started off very cold. It ended up being beautiful. Just gorgeous. Um, got back to the hotel. The bids come out tomorrow. So we have to officially, officially finish bidding for our schedule next month by noon Eastern Standard Time tomorrow. So that means 9 a.m. here. But uh, I wanted to add some extra lines to my schedule so I don't short bid, which is not a good thing to do. Um, I had been trying to buddy bid with Marcy, uh, as I think I mentioned earlier in the video, but I couldn't figure out how to get her number in the system. It just kept showing a blank, a little blue bar that wouldn't allow me to put her number in there. So I don't know if I can figure out how to buddy bid with her, but um, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Um, then I uh, just got back to the airport this afternoon. We had a, uh, a flight from Portland to Vegas that was one hour and 56 minutes, something like that. 
a super flight, no problems. Uh, in fact, the one problem I was anticipating, there was a couple that seemed a little, I wasn't sure if they were intoxicated or if they were just in a really good mood, but they seemed a little potentially having had a couple cocktails at the airport, if you know what I mean. Uh, and I was like, Ugh, do we serve them? Do we not serve them? And they ended up not ordering at all. So that was great. Problem solved. Um, and uh, yeah, no problems. No drama, no trauma. Easy, great crew. Um, poof, the day was over all of a sudden. So I uh, just came home a little while ago, gave the cat some treats, peeled off my uniform, and uh, yeah, just a really, really good day and uh, easy, which is nice too. But uh, I think this video is already too long. I do want to thank you very much for joining me on this trip. And uh, Ava and Alder, Alder, I still don't know how to say your name. If you are watching, oh, thank you so much. I know that our, our experience together on the plane with Bubbles was brief and short, but it really did impact me. I still love that little bird. Um, but there you go. I will, uh, I will talk to you guys later. Fly safe. Bye.